I'm literally refilming my intro because I went on a tangent. Okay, so <laughs> this is all Erin Floto stuff. I am an Erin Floto affiliate. Also, hi, it's XO Ashley Pink, otherwise known as Ashley. This is my third time filming this intro. Number three. So um, the way my desk is set up, uh, where my camera is, is where my um, computer goes. And because I have a new tripod, I simply just move my laptop out of the way. And so I have it on the side of the desk I usually use to like, because I have like an L desk, so this is the desk. And then there's like a thing that goes like in and out, so it can be L or it can be normal. I have the L pulled out like I always do, and I have my desktop. I have my computer on it. When I say desktop, I don't have a desktop anymore. Anyway, <laughs> this is a kit from Erin Floto, as well as some other stuff from Erin Floto. This is a scrapbook piece of paper. I believe I got it from Erin Floto, but I could have got it from somewhere else. Um, I don't know if she still does, but she used to send out scrapbook pieces with her Patreon stuff. This is from her shop. It is tabs, so it has like the monthly, and you can get these in. Monday start or Sunday start. I always choose Sunday because that's what I prefer for monthly views. And then this is different months, month scripts in hollow foil. You can tell it's hollow foil, by the way, not just be um, because the rainbow hits, it shows the full rainbow spectrum when the light hits it. Learn that from Simply Neological. Um, and then this is an old kit. This is like one of like the first kits she came out with. I believe this is one of the, f this kit was one, one of the first ones that, I don't even know if this was a Patreon kit. It might've been a kit from her shop. And then I got the Patreon kit for the month and preferred that, so. And this is like Egypt themed. It might be a Patreon kit. So this is, this is different functional stuff like week, stuff, some scripts, monthly scripts, deco, washi, and this is a washi page, Monday through Sundays, with two extra washi, bunch of deco, and then some washi with the monthly habit, monthly habits, monthly stuff. Now I am an affiliate for Erin Floda Designs, and the difference is, let me take a drink of my coffee. So with shops like ZZ Sticker Co, um, I promote her shop and stickers, as a PR person and I get shop credit as return. So I get a code that I can use monthly that has my uh, shop credit total. For example, this month I got $27 um, worth of shop credit and um, that goes towards me buying stuff in her shop. I can't use it at any other shop. It is ZZ Sticker Co. shop credit. Erin Floto has affiliates, which is slightly different than PR people because I get a commission. So if you were to buy something from Erin Floto using my link or my code, which is Ashley10, um, I will get 10% um, of the money of that. So for example, if you were to buy $10 worth of stickers, and I believe this is before shipping, um, then I would get a dollar. If you were to buy a hundred dollars worth of stickers, I would get ten dollars. And that would be if you use my code or my link. Now I would really appreciate if you use my code or my link because her stuff is amazing and then I get some stuff too, you get some stickers. It's a great thing, but of course you don't have to. It's your choice, but I really, she really has some great stuff. She is moving away, trying to like slowly move away from um, bullet journal stickers. She has a lot more digital stuff going on. She, I'm really interested to see because as a bullet journaler who loves her stickers, she will still be doing sticker kits for her Patreon. Um, she has multiple tiers of that. If you, um, are interested I in still having her stickers and you're willing to spend a couple dollars a month I check that out but still she has a lot of digital stuff coming up and her stencils are amazing so check her out but yeah I'm going to I don't really know what um, Tombos I'm going to be using yet or I was gonna say what bullet journals. I know what bullet journal I'm using. Um, what washi, but we'll get there when we get there. Hmm. See you in the fast forward. 
So as I always do, I start with a quote and I decided to try to look up like ancient Egypt theme quotes. The one I ended up going with is a thing of beauty is never perfect. And if that's an Egyptian proverb, I went with this really cute, like this gold, that gold, what's it called? Scrapbook paper. Um, and my Tombos wrote perfectly on it. It's still not sticking the best. I might have to go back and like glue it a bit better. But I really like um, the bits of deco that I did and then how I used my Tombow to frame it. And it looks pretty even, like the lines look pretty even. Usually some look longer and shorter and they do, but for the most part, it looks pretty even. I am really proud of uh, this cover page, like I usually am. For my master task list, I pulled in some pot deck, the pots deco to do my to do events and bills things. I like little icons or something to go across it. Um, habits, I decided to pull in an Erin Floto stencil. She has these calendar stencils and she has the ones in squares, circles, hearts, and stars. I pulled in the square one, as you can see, and then I used a gold-ish color Tombow, a deep maroon color Tombow, as well as a deep blue Tombow to mark Rosie, my Finch app, which is a goal-based app that has you do little things act like all the when you as you complete the goals that you set to do you you give things for your little character to do and go on adventures and i find it's really worthwhile and then working out and then period my period the blue was too dark for my um pigma micron so then i pulled in a jelly roll sakura I mean, my white jelly roll. I keep wanting to call it jelly roll sakura. I don't know if that's what it's called or not, but I still really like it. And then I, of course, I have my gratitude and monthly review page as well. Again, I did my circle tracker. I love this tracker. Um, and I decided to go back to classic colors for the moods. Um, if I don't do a theme, I like to do green for happy, yellow for content, uh, gray for anxious, blue for sad, and red for mad. I still haven't filled in my monthly goals or my cleaning tracker for the month, but I find these pages really help me um, tune in and what it what needs cleaning and what needs done. So I really like how this turned out. Just simple and a lot of space for me to write so I can write as big or as small as I need to. And this works great for me. And this is me trying to figure out what I'm doing next and texting my mother and <laughs> all this other stuff. Give me a second. <laughs> I totally didn't realize just how much I was texting I was doing. <laughs> so then the next page is my finances. I decided I made the executive decision to take out my payment section um, because essentially I was tracking the payments I was making on my credit card. But the way that I budget, the way this all works is that I'm with like I'm spending, I'm saving up and I'm spending all this money on my credit card, like 90% of the stuff that you see is me paying stuff on my credit card and then using my income to pay, and using the stuff that I'm budgeting to pay it back. So it didn't really make sense that I was tracking payments that I made on my credit card when that's the system that I use. So I decided to stop doing that and I'll track a different way how I'm paying back my student loans. I also did not fill in how much money I have for school and that is on purpose because I don't know if it's gonna be this month or next month but I'm I mean but I'm gonna to have to I'm gonna be getting student loans soon for starting school in September I am also a full-time student and fall and winter semester I'll have textbooks that I need I was able to really break this up into four categories I mean four things on one page so then I have an even two pages this month for my transaction log and I really feel like I can get it done in just two pages um, it's simple I used the maroon blue and gold color all throughout it so it's multicolored and then in the transaction log again I write the date the category the type so debit or credit or cash and then how much money it is. I don't usually track cash, but if I was, I'd put, I'd track cash. 
and then after I fill in little bits of that, I do a brain dump page and then just a simple schedule for my three classes. Um, it worked out this month that I could use the icons, but next month when I have five classes instead of three, I'm gonna have to break it up a little bit differently. But for now, it is really working out and yeah. Then I just did, I broke up the pages into two page spreads of seven sections. Uh, so that I could do some journaling each day. This way I can write down exactly what happened and um, this way I can also look back for my memory planning because that's what I'm struggling with. I don't really feel like memory planning sometimes and I don't really have a, and I also been wanting to journal more. So this just seems like I can write down exactly what I'm doing for my memory planning while also journaling. And I really had fun exploring how I was gonna use the different um, dailies. So yeah, this is my bullet journal. If you like it, please give a like, share, a thumbs up, and all that have a blue. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.